Another sexually violent predator may be placed in the East County. Joseph Bocklet committed sex crimes against children who were four to nine years old. And now it's the younger population fighting to keep a violent offender out of her community. Sixteen-year-old Jade Lynn stands by the road in Hakumba Hot Springs holding a sign that says, Save Our Children. The reason to keep a violent sex offender away from her home. It's very scary and I feel like the county doesn't have concern about this at all. The Department of State Hospitals is proposing to place pedophile Joseph Bocklet at a home off Old Highway 80 in Hakumba Hot Springs. The small town has turned into a dumping ground for sex offenders with an extremely high ratio of felon to resident. In San Diego, we have 994 residents per sex offender, but for Hakumba, it's only 37 residents per sex offender. So adding another violent predator has this town on edge. It makes me fearful to want to like go out if he is placed in this area. Kids play in the streets, in their yards. You, just, you see kids and families hiking, riding their bikes around town. It's, like I said, it's very family um, oriented. There is so many families there, so many kids there, and everyone is very open about that. Like you always see a kid um, bicycling around town or hiking, and it's a very open area. And there's a lot of places for these people to hide or to escape to and not be found. It's very important to me that this man does not come to my community and potentially hurt anyone there or anyone that I know. Jaden Lynn, along with family and friends, are working to get the community aware of what's happening to their town. They staged a demonstration in order to talk to neighbors and others about the potential of Bocklet being placed down the street. Jaden Lynn said she was surprised by how many people didn't know about the upcoming court date. And that's why she's going to continue to use social media and other platforms to fight for the safety of her streets. It takes one voice, one voice to make a difference. It, it doesn't matter if one person is listening, if 10, if 100, because that person can tell the next person and the next person. Your voice is important and you should use it to your benefit. I feel like if you're silent, then find a way to get around that. Be the voice for all the children and women and men who are silenced because of predators who are pedophiles or rapists or murderers even be their voice profound for such a young woman bocklet was originally proposed to live in palma valley a judge ruled that wasn't a suitable placement so now the courts will be considering hakumba the hearing is set for October 26 at 9 a.m. Meantime, Jade Lynn says she has more demonstrations planned to get the attention of county leaders.